There'll be 80,000 delicacies that will be presented for you. 80,000 foods, desserts, dishes that will be given. And the Jannati will go through all 80,000 of them, uh, enjoying the different delicacies of Jannah. Coming to the delicacies of Jannah, one of the first meals the Jannatis will be provided with is fish and chips. I'm joking. Fish. Fish will be given to us as a delicacy in Jannah. When, when the Jannatis will enter into Jannah, their first sight will be upon the rivers of Jannah. When they will look at the rivers of Jannah, obviously in the rivers will be the fish of Jannah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will show them a show which is described in the hadith, a musabaqa, that will, be, that will be between the fish, a wrestling show. These days you can term it as a dolphin show. You know, we pay 50, 60 pounds just to show the children a dolphin show. A dolphin show will be shown to us in Jannah. And when the Jannatis will be embarking upon this, the ships of Jannah, however they will be, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has planned it for us. And we cannot describe it to its extreme beauty, but describe it as a cruise. You know, these days we go upon a cruise in the ocean and someone is looking at a shark and someone is seeing a whale, etc. So a Jannati will spot a whale. A huge fish that will appear in front of him and the fish will communicate with him. Today we have all these different devices we want to communicate with animals. However, the animals cannot communicate back to us. We try to train them and we do everything. Millions and billions have, is, have been spent so that Sulaiman was given this gift. Even the winds would listen to Sulaiman That was the kingdom of Sulaiman so the kingdom of a Jannati in Jannah will be, he'll be able to communicate with whoever you want. The fish, the whale will come in front of him that, how do you want me? Do you want me roasted? Do you want me in a kebab shape? Do you want... So he will give his desires. You know, these days we go to a restaurant and we ask for a menu. The menu is long, but there's nothing available. And then we just end up having the normal, simple, you know, just give me fish and chips, I'll wrap it up and I'll go. So the fish will be there. And when the food is consumed, now a person might think that 80,000 dishes, how will I be able to consume it? How will I be able to eat it? There's no toilet in Jannah, so you better eat with control. Take it easy. No, no, no. You don't have to worry about it. Ulama give an example that just like how our oxygen, oxygen is, is, uh, is weighed in liters. So how many hundreds and thousands of liters we consume every day of oxygen? We're breathing in, we're breathing out. Yet, we do not... Our, our system and our body consumes it all and then it takes it out with carbon dioxide. In the same way, Jannatis will eat their food and they will continue eating and they will continue eating and their bodies will be given the ability to digest it all. Just one loud burp, which won't be the burps of this dunya. Don't worry about it. You know, Tarawi time, someone is burping. When there was mask, it was good. So we don't have to worry about anyone burping because the mask will give him the taste of his own burp. But in Jannah, it will be a sweet smelling musk phrase that will come and all his food will be digested. Meaning, now move on. Move on to your next journey in Jannah and continue enjoying the benefits of Jannah. So the delicacies of Jannah.